Hi, um, my name is Jane Johnston. This is Daniel Johnston and my daughter Kira Johnston. Um, Daniel has autism and his brother Evan also has autism. Evan is 13 and Daniel is 9. Um, I suppose I just, um, yeah, I found as an autism mother um, that, you know, while the boys um, are very courageous and really, really work hard in fighting their autism every day, um, you know, that my battle is, their battle is with autism, my battle is actually to get um, social justice and equality for them um, in this country and while um, I would have to say all of the general public that I have met have been very supportive of me and my family and my two boys, um, the people that are actually running the country um, seem to want to squeeze children like Evan and Daniel out of the education system and out of mainstream society. Um, and I believe they've been sent here for a reason. I believe they've been sent us to teach us something. And um, they're very special. And I think that the same as any other child, that they have the right to take their place in Irish society. Um, and it says in our constitution to cherish the children of the nation. My children are entitled to be cherished by the nation as well. And um, as their mother, um, I'm an autism mum and I will fight for them um, for as long as I have to. It would be really nice if I didn't have to because I'm not like, actually stuck for something to do with my time raising two boys with autism and, and, and Kira has been, well Kira's been no trouble but you know and the boys have been no trouble either. It's just, it, it can be difficult and we are vulnerable and we need the state to support us. Daniel needs a state to support him. He needs to go to school and he needs to get an education when he's in school. A token education is no good to him. Um, you know, there's the right to go to school, but there is no right to have an education. What kind of country would you like to see? I would like to see a, a, a country where everybody is equal. And um, I would like to see that equality to me means um, not giving everybody the same, but actually giving everybody what they need to succeed and um, Daniel and my other son Evan need support in order to reach their potential and the support that they have is um, it's been very hard to get in the first place and Daniel in particular has had his support withdrawn significantly over the last few years and um, regardless of popular spin and what's been said by um, the various ministers and government there has been talks um, it was 18 SNAs in his um, autistic unit. There's now only 9.75. Was it 18 two years ago? There's now 9.75. That's nearly half, you know? So that's a cut. <laughs> um, so, um, Where do you find yes. hope for the future? Where do I find hope for the future? Well, I find hope, I suppose, in my children. And, you know, I will never give up on hope in them, you know? And... Um, I suppose, you know, if they keep getting up every morning and fighting their autism, then I'm getting up behind them and I will keep fighting the people that are trying to stop them from fighting their autism. And that's, that's my hope. Um, that someday, someday, that, um, you know, we can return to a country that actually puts values, people values children above banks, above, above bondholders. Daniel didn't play any part in the economic crisis. Neither did I, neither did Kira, neither did Evan, neither did Rod, her dad. Um, we played no part in it, but it's like there's been this huge big party and we've been asked to clear up the mess. And um, there's only so much you can actually take. So um, but we, will, we, we, we will keep going and uh, you can't keep working your children, you know? So what else can you do? You know, and that's, that's our hope that someday, Someday we will have a government who will actually cherish all of the children equally and as I said equality is about giving everybody what they need to succeed. It's not about giving everybody the same. Because these guys haven't been born the same as everybody else. But they are special and they have a lot to teach us. Thank you.